What's up guys, it's your boy Jay from Jay's Films and today we're going to look at DaVinci Resolve 14. Now I've been using DaVinci Resolve Lite since 2013 when I first got the Blackmagic Cinema Camera and I've never looked back since. Now I'm very excited about this new one because A, it's, uh, it went down from $900 to like $299 for the paid version but I've been using the Lite version which is totally free. It's crazy. The only reason why I'm deciding to actually upgrade is because they're claiming it's 10 times faster and it comes with a lot of new tools and one of those tool, tools I'm actually going to look at today which is the face recognition tracking masking thing that they have. Now I have the free version here so it's going to have a watermark but I think it's still pretty cool. Malware bytes and okay close. Um, another thing though just an update if you have a Panasonic GH5 and you're shooting 4K 10 bit Unfortunately, it's not supported, but it's still beta. So maybe later on it will be supported. As you can see here, I have a 10-bit footage. This is 10-bit 4K and it's offline. So I'm probably gonna have to revert back. But today we're just gonna look at the, a new feature that I really like with Avenger Resolve 14. So let's go to color tab. We're gonna click on open effects here and we're gonna scroll down. I have nodes set up here. This is just a normalized version. This, you know, good looking guy, whatever. Uh, we're going to scroll down and the thing that caught my eye the most is, uh, where is it, face refinement. So what you're going to do is just drop that into an empty node. And like I said, it's going to be watermarked, but my camera is not supported, so I'm probably not going to be upgrading anytime soon, but we can still look at the features that it, uh, it has. I'm going to click analyze and that's automatically analyzing and tracking my face. Now I can see this working with interviews a lot or if your actor or actress is not turning, um, you know, as long as you can see the face a lot, it will work. And that's probably, depending on what you do, that's probably like 70 to 80% of the time, which, you know, that's a lot. And we're just gonna go over the options and the settings here in a second. Um, it's just processing. Though this video is just 1080, 8 bit from the GH5 and it's working properly here. Okay, let's go ahead and just cancel it to 50%. 52. Okay, so let's go and cancel that. Let's go right here and let's play just to see. I mean, it did pretty good tracking, but then again, this is 180 frames per second, so it's slow mo. That's crazy, man. Give me eyeballs, eyebrows, nose, lips, and my jawline. That's awesome. Now, let's go to the right, uh, to the settings here. If you don't have it, click settings. Uh, if you turn to the left, it's going to sharpen your face. Turn to the right, it's going to make you look like Michael Jackson. Um, it works kind of like on sharp mask, I guess, or any sharpening tool like in Photoshop. So you can, you know, change the details, contrast and all that stuff. Skin mask, you can reduce the size of the skin mask or you can increase it to include the ears and the neck. That's awesome. And you can also smoothen or do the opposite way. I'm just gonna zoom in here. And you can refine it as well. I guess you can shrink it. That's cool, man. You can click show mask and you know it's going to show you the actual mask itself, kind of like a mat. Uh, let's go down to color grading. Color grading, you can increase and decrease the mid-tones um, brightness, which is cool, man. That's awesome. Definitely going to use that. Color boost is just going to give you a little bit of vibrance or saturation, which that works because, man, that looks fantastic. And I'm, ex I'm exaggerating right now so you can see what it's doing. Tint, tint slider, similar. Left green, right magenta really helpful if you're trying to remove some tint and some color cast. Desat shadows. Remove some color from the shadows, which is helpful as well. Um, shine removal, I'm guessing this is for like sweaty foreheads and sweaty faces when you're interviewing people and they're really sweaty because they're nervous. I guess that works well. Yeah, as you can see I have some shine here for uh, on the highlights. You can soften it if you want. You can hide it a little bit better. Really cool. I retouch you can sharpen the crap out of your eyes. That looks really creepy, like I'm from one of those Twilight movies. You can brighten it too, that was awesome. Eye light, make it darker, and eye bag removal. That's cool. Look at that. Dang, I look, I look like freaking Tom Cruise now. All right, so lip retouching. You can change the hue and saturation of your lip. If you wanna look like Barney, that's great. Saturation, there, red lips. Dude, that is all done. 
I wish the watermark wasn't there because that looks awesome. Uh, blush retouching, if you're doing some beauty work, same thing, new saturation on the cheeks. That's crazy, it knows where it is. Saturation, saturate that shit. Now you look like a clown. That looks great. Forehead, you can change the color of your forehead if you want it different from the rest of your face, which is really helpful if you're trying to make something scary like a zombie or something. That looks fantastic, guys. I mean, the thing that amazes me with this thing is the way it tracked it. You don't have to use this color key tool here and select the face and do all that nonsense. Hey, that got rid of the watermark. Uh-oh. Exploit. I'm just kidding, let's control, ooh, shoot, let's control Z out of that. Look at that, that looks cool, man. So you don't have to key that anymore, it does it for you automatically and it tracks it for you. It does a pretty good job tracking. Chin retouching, same thing, and global blend is kind of like your opacity if you, if you want to tone it down just a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna go over the new features of the Vinci Resolve 14. Like I said, I'm not gonna be upgrading just yet because GH5 4K 10-bit is not supported with the beta. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks for watching. Peace out.